Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency trading video, a little bit different than normal, where I am going to be going through why and how I use several accounts while trading. So obviously after yesterday's live stream where I was talking about how I was holding a short and a long, some people were confused of why I would do this and also how you actually do this. So this video is to uh, aid you to make an informed decision of, of basically how we go, you know, why we really do this and, and then exactly how we do it. <laughs> um, so I hope that you do enjoy this video. You can learn a little bit from it and just, you know, really clears it up um, because I, I honestly think that this is a brilliant way of trading. Uh, so yeah, let's just get straight into it. Hopefully fairly, fairly short and short and sweet video just to really emphasize what we're doing here. So first of all, and I guess we can also talk about the advantages and, and disadvantages if there are any of, of this method of trading. So let's begin. Uh, it all started off with, we obviously held the short position from around $63,000. And we we're obviously looking at the time while taking these shorts for a, a, a three drives pattern, which obviously means we're expecting lower on the Bitcoin chart. We also had the rising wedge, remember, which is a high term time frame bearish pattern. So we had a few reasons to short up here. Let's just remember this. Um, but we obviously came down very low. We obviously bottomed out at around $51,000. And if you're watching yesterday's live stream, you know that we longed the CC retracement here at $53,000. So in this moment in time, we are simultaneously holding a short while also holding a long. Okay. So that this is this is why the question question arose quite a lot. Is why would why would you do this? Okay. I'm going to actually use a really nice example of why we would do this. And this was... Uh, a trade that was actually taken on well the, the, the day prior to this breaking down on the 17th of April when we actually hit $59,720. This for me was a really important support level, yeah? which as we can see in the end was lost, flipped into resistance and a big move to the downside. But 59720 at the time was a very important support level for me. So I naturally did take a long off of this level. And this is the advantage of having a few different accounts. Obviously, I'm in a short from 63K, you know, the region of 63K, expecting a move to the downside. And I do not want to close this short, even, not here, not here. And I didn't want to close it at 53K. Why? Because I hadn't actually seen any sign of strength. And me being a, a trader that kind of um, likes to have that hedge when we're in a local downtrend. I don't want to close out of that short too early, you know, and then see a move to the downside exactly like we saw and, and lose a lot of USD value. So I like to keep in my shorts until I've really seen that sign of strength. And so this is a really, really, really nice example of how you, you would not, in my opinion, want to close your shorts at 59,700 or not just off the bat closing it with a preset order. Because overall, you have to remember the context of a rising wedge, which can see a breakdown to around fifty, fifty-three thousand dollars. Um, and secondly, you have a three drives pattern, which can also see you coming down to around fifty-eight thousand dollars. So it doesn't really make sense to close your short at fifty-nine seven hundred, although that is a very good long trade. Okay, but you had a fairly nice bounce off of it. Obviously, in the end, uh, we lost the level and went down lower but that, that, that that's not really important in this uh, what the important thing is is we want to hold on to the short because we are expecting lower on the bitcoin chart but we recognize the opportunity for a long here if this long had actually done something like this and not have rejected for another lower high lower high lower high lower high lower high and obviously just massive move to the downside if we'd actually done something like this for example change that moved back up and you know we, we basically had got a full-on reversal from this point then that would be a time to obviously look to close the shorts but we recognize we do not want to close the shorts but we simultaneously do want to take a long because firstly there's a good scalp trade or secondly there's a possibility of a, of a reversal so we want to get involved in the market but we do not want to close the short because there's still a high probability that we're going lower Okay, so the, the, the question of why would we want to hold two positions at the same time? Well, reason number one is because we're in a short, for example, and we overall were expecting lower. We have to think overall it's, it's going to come lower because there's no reason to not think otherwise while we're in that local downtrend. And we obviously have a, a few big term time frame bearish patterns forming on the chart. OK, so why would we then, if, if that's the case on the bigger term time frame, we're expecting lower, why would we want to also take a long position here? 
Well, we'd want to take a long position here because we recognize that this is a good area of support and it's good enough for at least a little bounce. And we did get the little bounce, to be fair. OK, and this was a bounce in the end of around 2 percent. Very good if you're trading with decent size. Well, I guess for anybody, 2 percent is good. So you've got a good bounce off that and it's not one, something that you want to miss out on. And you also obviously always have the potential of a full-on reversal at that level. Obviously, in the end, it didn't happen, but that's uh, the scope of the video. But um, what, what we're saying here is, so I just want to make this very clear. Why would we want to hold two positions at the same time? Well, we would want to do that because we do not want to close our primary position. And secondly, we see opportunities uh, for potential reversals or at the very least quick trades. Yeah. So this is a reason why we'd want to hold at least two positions simultaneously at the same time. What well, you know, obviously, this is then taking your shorts from up at the highs and then you're able to take a few longs, um, you know, towards the lows. Obviously, what you wouldn't want to do. And I was telling this yesterday in the Champions live stream. It doesn't make sense to if you're at one price, take a long and a short at the same time. That's an absolute waste of time. Um, it just doesn't make any sense. So what you would you know, if you want to hold two positions simultaneously, it's like when you get a short maybe from a, a, the high and then you move down and then you want to take a long from the low. That would make sense to hold two positions simultaneously. Then you could say if you shorted this, you'd now maybe be out of short, for example, and let the long run. And you'd let one of the positions run when the other one gets invalidated. OK, so that's that's the why would you want to hold two positions at the same time? And it's like I was talking about a little bit last night is, um, you know, we had a short running from here. And you're able to, you know, during this whole section, which we're talking about, that you know, you, you can see in here about 10 different trades. So you don't want to be closing out of this short because it's a high term time frame swing trade. But you right, you want to be able to take a lot of different trades in here, a lot of different day trades, for example. And let's even say, for example, you've paid, take a long here. In the end, it got stopped out. Very small loss, let's say. You took a long here, it got stopped out. You took a long here, it got stopped out. But the losses are, you know, you're able to get out of these break even, very small, but very small scraps. Well, simultaneously, you are making money off of the short. So what we call that, what I'm referring to this as is, is you're able to take very small losses on the long position. OK, because you're being hedged by that big short position. So you're being hedged by your shorts. And so you're able to take a few different, you know, scratches, a few different attempts at the long, which are ultimately failing. But you're holding a bigger short position which is at the same time like your home run yeah so you're you're getting your you know you're taking a few swings on these longs which are missing okay so we're missing missing you know and we're, we're getting stopped out let's say break even but we've got the bigger home run still running around still making us money so we're able to take more I don't want to call it a risk per se, but we're just able to take more opportunities and maybe we get a reverse on a home run on one of these. And if not, we're getting out pretty much break even, um, you know, for these, these you know, let's just say even if they're ending in losses, the losses are relatively small, especially when you remember you've got the head short running. OK, so then obviously we come down to this scenario yesterday where we long fifty three thousand dollars. And why, why would we want to long that? Well, that's a massive area of value. That was a very, very good long position. Um, you had several different fluences to long there. And so this is where you could say that this is then another swing trade potentially. And yeah? you could have another swing, I believe, from here. So then, you know, if you want to, let's say, hold the swing short still until you maybe reclaim, I don't know, let's say $60,000. Then you could say, I want to hold this swing short. I want to hold this swing long and see what resistance or support gets claimed next. Well, then you're going to maybe need three accounts. So it's not just one account for longs, one account for shorts, but you then need one account for your swing long, one account for your swing short. OK, and you might even have a fourth account for then taking day trades. So you've got one locked up in a long, you've got one locked up in a short, and then you want another account to take your scope trades. Of course, this is then coming on to you know, having quite a lot of accounts. Some people might not want to do this. They might think it's too much work. Um, there's a whole list of reasons why, why people might think, oh, I can't be bothered to do that. For me, I um, do not find it very bad at all. It's, it doesn't, it's really not time consuming. A very quick method of switching between your Bybit accounts or whatever account you want to use is um, within, for example, Chrome or Firefox, you've got a little profile tab. So you can switch between your profiles and the account logged in very, very quickly. Alternatively, you can use a program such as Atus, uh, Sierra Charts, so that it doesn't support as much trading technologies. You know, you've got these different platforms where you can log into all your accounts at the same time. And with one click of a button, you can take trades on several different accounts. So um, 
you know third party software is obviously available uh, if, if you if you're interested in, in third party software but uh for you for the people that just want to stick on the exchange then obviously you can um very quickly get in and out of accounts by just using the profile feature inside of uh inside of your browser so I've got to state in this video, no financial advice. We're not telling people what to do with their money. Uh, no advice at all. This is just entertainment video only, okay? No advice at all given in this video. Uh, nothing nothing, nothing of the source. Um, <laughs> I hate to give that disclaimer every video. It's, it's kind of like we've been recommended to do it because people are crazy. Uh, even though it kind of feels uh, unnecessary. Um, but anyway... Yeah, that, 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 that's really what we were wanting to focus on. The, the, now you know the reasons why we would hold a long and a short simultaneously, uh, how you would do it, where well, you can use a lot of different profiles within, within the browser. And, uh, you know, we're talking about you could potentially have two, three, four, five, six different accounts, uh, all, all, you know, and trading on them all. Um, obviously, this is the post where trading assistant received a lot of questions about our customer service over in the dms and this is obviously the post that we were referring to here where people were asking me about my exchange of choice and i mean you can pause and read this really but i do all my trading only on bybit and a lot of people are like oh you're gonna you're not gonna be able to trade um whatever this coin is called and it's like i have a selection of different altcoins actually i can show you one of the altcoins i'm in right now um you know for me i have enough to trade over on over on buy but I'm, I'm pretty content with it and on top of that there was a lot of questions obviously about this yesterday because Binance went down again <laughs> you know Binance went down again yesterday during the really big drop to the downside so many people were annoyed about that loads of people's stop losses didn't even hit so they were getting liquidated because they they have a stop loss set and it didn't even trigger so they were liquidated and there was, you know, there was quite a lot of uproar because they would literally lost money and Binance refused to acknowledge it. You know, I've, I've always said it, it's a very shady exchange. And this is why I'm happy to work with Bybit. I think they are, uh, for me anyway, they, they do everything that I want and I, I trust them personally. Of course, you've got to do your own research. But this is my, my thoughts on it. They got the best fees. They got the best user interface. It's just it's just easy. There's no confusion. <laughs> and you know the obviously the biggest competitors you know that they, they, they kind of are rubbish you know, binance rubbish kraken is uh got scoured coinbase very high fees ftx and femex they have liquidity problems so it's like yeah i don't know like for me like the best overall exchange is bybit so that's that's kind of why we like recommend them but so to speak uh but obviously people can make their own decisions but um yeah obviously what customer service rate up here was just like if you want to trade on one account you could do that on the USDT pair on bybit because you can short and long simultaneously from the same screen so you don't need to be logging in and logging out but it does mean you need to hold tether whereas if you want to tr if you want to hold bitcoin on bybit then what you can do is trade the perpetual swaps and the expiration futures e.g the ones that are going to expire next on the uh, 25th of june so that's the way that you can do it all in one account. Obviously, alternatively, you can just create a second account to use one for longs, one for shorts, or even a third account for swing trades, a fourth account for scalp trades, okay? So there's a lot of different possibilities. Of course, we have an affiliate deal with um, with Bybit. And if you're interested in that, then uh, you can actually get $200 for free on every account that you create. So if you create five accounts, Obviously, you have to deposit on the five accounts. Uh, so you deposit 0.5 Bitcoin on every account, then you're going to get $1,000 for free by, you know, depositing on, on five accounts. So that you could consider that an advantage potentially, no? And um, yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to make you aware of on this video. Uh, obviously, what I can say and end with is, um, obviously, da -da 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 -da, if you would like to see... The list of deals that we have we obviously do have and we, I, I think bybit is my personal that's where i personally trade but if you want to do this on and take advantage of some of our other deals of course over on the deals page on the website we have um you know affiliate deals with a few other places as well if, if you're interested so you can make that decision at the end of the day but for me bybit is my exchange of choice and um yeah i hope this video has been helpful to you in understanding why we're taking um two positions simultaneously and obviously it's primarily because if we've got a bigger high term time frame idea we don't want to close out of that trade 
Okay. Obviously, this one exceeded all expectations. I was not necessarily expecting $51,000. But because I had no reason to close my short in any of this move, I'm able to really get that massive home run here. A very, very, very massive short trade um, exceeding expectations. And that was really because I was happy to let it run. Because on another account, I'm scalping longs. OK, obviously, we can see in the end that, you know, we're taking scraps, we're taking little scratches and, and, and uh, you know, we're, we're, we're missing the we're missing the ball on some of the hits and, you know, getting a stop loss. But because the bigger trade of the short is, is, is hedging our bets there, essentially, you know, we're able to take a, little, a few more uh, quote unquote risky trades. I wouldn't say the risk is any higher, but you, I hope you can see what I mean. I'm able to take a few more trades with a relaxed, a bit more of a relaxed mindset, knowing that I have this hedge. OK, Um so, yeah, and then when if you have a swing long and a swing short, if you start to break back above that high, you can close that swing short. And after you, you know, if this swing long starts to run, well, you're going to try and keep that one open. Of course, things to bear in mind are your, are your funding rates, of course. Um, another thing to bear in mind, if, you know, um, try and think if there's anything else. Uh, yeah, generally on these swing positions, you are going to be taking profits. So, you know, when you come down to a major level of support, such as 53K, that swing short that you're holding, you know, you, you're bound to have taken profits there. It's just kind of, um, you know, if you view this as a good swing long, then it's naturally going to be a good position to take profits on the swing short. Even if it comes down lower, it's still a good, it's still a good take profit. I think that's about it though, I suppose. Uh, if you do have any other questions, you're probably best off joining the Discord and ask it in here. It's a lot easier to go back and forth on Discord rather than uh, YouTube comments, you know, uh, if you have like a long discussion or comment to be uh, asking. Um... Uh, for the sign up links, uh, if you want to make a, take advantage of the free $200 with the deposit bonus, the links will be down in the description or obviously over on Discord in the socials. And um, yeah, I, I really hope that this has aided or at least given a bit of clarity of why and how we do this. And um, yeah, should you have any other questions, just maybe leave them in the comments down below. We'll join the Discord, whatever you, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> and uh, I hope though. I hope I've answered as much questions as I can think. Over the questions over the last 24 hours, I've done all the ones that have been asked. But should you have any other questions, of course, just ask and uh, me, customer service, trading assistant, one of us will get back to you and, and you know, help you. So there you go. Hope you've learned something you think in this video. Understand why, the hows and uh, the advantages. So yeah, cheers, everybody. Have a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant day. And um, yeah, thank you. Cheers.